All right, so my apologies about that mishap and everything. I got a phone call. And uh, yeah, but anyway, let me get back to what I was saying because I totally kind of forgot. But back to this part, because I know I was explaining something and I don't remember what I was explaining. I'm not going to front. <laughs> so let's just get on to what this is pertaining to. It's, it's got something to do with leaving, walking away. Like I say, somebody, you know, you know, somebody may have bit off more than they can chew and something is over with. If there's a completion to a cycle and somebody's definitely leaving or walking away here. So let's go ahead and see what is this pertaining to for Libra. If you haven't checked part one, because now I got to call this part two. So if you haven't checked part one, please make sure that you do that because it's a, it's a lot of information in there that's um, valuable. It is kind of like part two may not make sense, you know, if you don't check out part one. So understand that. Don't just take the message and be like, well, I'm just going to listen to this much of it. You know, make sure that you hear the whole message. This is having the strength to leave. This is having the courage to leave or walk away from something. Straight up. Straight up. Retirement. Retirement. This is something that somebody is looking, needing to do at this time. This is having the courage to walk and leave. <laughs> Just period. And healing from the past here. So this is about walking away from something, um, something that you've been doing for a long time. Finally retiring from it. Hanging it up. You may not be meant to do, you know, this work in this type of field. It may be meant for you to do this over here. It's time for you to hang something up. Let's go ahead and clarify retirement here and having the courage to do that. Because this is in the present energy. Please clarify retirement in the present energy for Libra or whoever resonates with this message. Because keep in mind, your ancestors are definitely closing the chapter. They're helping you close the chapter out here. No doubt. And also keep in mind that this is something that you can do on your own, but you're not yet manifesting because you may not even know that you got the skill to do it <laughs> for some of you. Now, for some others, you may have someone that could be really trying to stop you from being able to create something on your own. Don't even want, to, want you to get into the position to where you're capable of doing it. Okay, this is also about not restoring something. So you could have went back and restored something over and over again, went back to the same job. Hell, I worked when I, I remember when I had my son when I was pregnant and up until when my son was three. You, if you only knew how, how back and forth I was working at Waffle House. <laughs> <laughs> I'm talking about it was nice. I quit when the crazy people came in after the club. I'm pregnant and shit. Here they go talking about with your fine ass bitch. If you don't get out of my face, fuck. Matter of fact, I quit for the night and I would leave and fix me, me, me some food and take my ass home. Then I'll come back the next day. <laughs> but I quit that night. You see, you hear what I'm saying? So, so you know, <laughs> this is like, you know, going back to something repetitively. And it's just not working for you, but it's not meant to work for you because it's meant for you to do bigger and better things. Clarify retirement in the present energy. Mm hmm. Yep. Like I say, this is that, like I say, somebody, where, where, where's that energy at that I saw? Right here. With me seeing this energy right here, this was like the nine of wands in reverse. You know, after seeing this energy and now here's the nine of wands coming up here but this is it's upright and it's kind of like you may you may actually have to take your time to do something you know so you won't get caught up or you know do bit like biting off more than you can chew type energy but it does look like the options are here for you to do it and for you to explore it it's just about what type of how are you going to go about it? And like I say, choose wisely on that. That's important because it's a, it's a risk 
about the choices that you choose to make, the people that you choose to tell, however the case may be. You're being told to choose wisely. Yep. Yep, definitely. Because you can really, you know, and this, this is going to help you because it's like something can set you back. Something can send you back to, you know, like, damn, I thought I was done with the strip club. You know, one thing Cardi B said, <laughs> if you ever listen to Cardi B's interview about the strip club, she said that when she made that move, she was like, she was afraid to make it because she didn't want to be one of them girls that went backwards to, you know, back to the strip club. So she didn't want to tell people that she didn't do this because if things didn't work out for her, she was going to have to go back. And, you know, she ended up falling in place, but you know how many people that ended up back where they started because they when they, when they when they did have the opportunity, it was how they went about taking the opportunity, how they went about doing the things that they were doing while they had the opportunity, you know, and then they ended up back at square one for some type of reason. Now, for some people, you got some people in this world that's just out to stop you, sabotage you, hate on you, blackball you. Put you in real messed up situations to make you go back and then make it feel like it's your fault. Don't let that happen. You know, you can't really control everything, but you just got to watch your moves. Watch who you talk to. Watch how you um, deliver some, some type of messages or information or whatever. Because everybody can't be trusted. Just can't. I don't trust shit. <laughs> I do, but I ain't finna tell you what I trust because, you know. I feel like if I tell anybody what I do trust, it's going to be attacked, you know? The way this world is, it's ridiculous. Anyway, so something definitely is coming back around towards you that you deserve. So once again, there's that nine of wands as well with the seven of pentacles. And you, I've seen this three times. So some three is a charm here. Something is definitely, um, you know, a trinity. And I don't know why I caught this energy with the Three of Cups when I said Trinity. I looked down and there that was. And I've seen those three cups. So some of you could be dealing with a Cancer, Pisces, or a Scorpio. Or some of you are, you know, have, something is going to be worth celebrating. You know, you could, Queen of Coins energy, Capricorn energy. Something is definitely coming back around to a circle here. This could have a lot to do with work something that you're working on and this is also a lot of healing that's coming in somebody's wishes are about to be fulfilled yo this um, capricorn energy queen of wands now like i did say earlier the devil was in the details because there was somebody another energy here that was going with that now that could also be like the devil could have been riding you and trying to make you lose out on something or be fearful this energy right here this is it, it, it don't say fear but this is a fearful energy you know, fear, fear of fear of what's going to happen if it doesn't work out for you. Fear of, you know, um, is it going to be overwhelming? Am I going to be able to um, succeed in this? And how much can I, would I lose if I lose out on it? You know, so, you know, that could have been literally the devil riding you instead of someone else riding you when it comes down to that energy. For sure. Yeah, but you can manifest it. There's the magician right here. And, you, you know, the, once again, there's a decision for you to make when it comes down to that. And so somebody, you know, once again, somebody did not, you know, you couldn't, you wasn't juggling it, but you wasn't manifesting it. Now you can juggle something and manifest it at the same time. It's something that you can juggle and manifest at while you, you're doing something else. And this is your look. There is that too. There is that as well. And when it comes down to you manifesting, take that leap of faith. You can do it. You can create something that you're, you're meant to create from scratch. The Empress. There you go. The, the, what? You are the creator. It's something that you're meant to create from scratch. Empress? It's something that you're meant to do. Now, the Empress in reverse energy could have also been you. That could have also been the energy of you not feeling capable of doing something, not feeling like you got the means to do something, not feeling like you're, you're, um, it's for you to even do. 
and not allowing yourself to create or do it. Just saying, you know. But something, this new beginning is here for you. It is, and X marks the, marks the spot. So you're, you know, there's a triumphant victory that's going to be here for you as well. And there's going to be contracts. So, you know, this could be a contracted job. This could be um, some, you know, you could be, you know, like I say, signing other people's checks here. Thank you for your wisdom, your guidance and understanding. All right, so once again, what goes around comes around. Somebody's about to get some type of karma here. And, you know, something is coming back around to you. Show me the tarot. So there's a Gemini here that's trying to keep somebody stuck in some type of betrayal with this Ten of Swords in reverse here. And the lovers here, strong Gemini, Gem, Gem, Gemini. <laughs> strong Gemini energy. Someone definitely is trying to come to you with some type of offer, but they're watching to see how they can bring something to you. Um, but it's like a lie, man. This is like a false promise. There's a Gemini that's trying to keep you in some type of betrayal with false promises here. Whoever been, whoever this is, this is somebody from your past. This person probably been doing this. They probably done did it a maximum of maybe seven or eight times. Yeah, over and over and over again. Uh, this person so there is another person here but they hide because this person is like a shadow it's like you really don't I, I don't see them like that but I felt them here let's clarify this ten of swords in reverse what is this betrayal that somebody wants you to remain stuck in Juggling. Juggling, not having shit. Are you serious? <laughs> you know, being still. Um, you're walking away from this, though. You probably already turned your back and left this. Or took your feelings out of this. It's just not emotional. Somebody definitely, when I say they want you juggling blindly, this is crazy. This is kind of like they really don't want you to have no fucking money. They want you to juggle with your money hard. And they, and, and, but, and, and they, they know that you can see. They, you could be intu intuitive as fuck, so they know that you can see something clearly, but they're trying to juggle you, trying to juggle that too to keep you a little blindsided from something. Like they don't want you to know it's them doing it or whatever the case, but they definitely, because when I say, look, look, look at how you got the, the strength in reverse here about the blind side. This is weak though. This is a weakened, a weak, a weak situation. Then right here. They want you to juggle not having, not getting no type of money or anything. But they want, this is, it's, it's, this is strength. This is hard. You know what I'm saying? But the juggle is here as well. So you up here, this is what this person wants you to do. You know what I'm saying? Like juggle. And they don't want shit to come towards you. When it comes down, they definitely don't want nobody else to come towards you. Who is this? Hmm. But somebody's coming. I'm gonna leave that alone. I'm not gonna say nothing about that part because it may, it may, it may make them have a bad day. Whoever it is with the bullshit. But it does look like you made a choice to walk away or take your emotions out of this energy because somebody definitely wants you sky high with your fucking emotions. But it's looking like it looks like you came in and brought some type of balance with that. What's 
go ahead and get you some advice, motivation, inspiration, or encouragement. All right, so about giving, giving, giving your full potential, giving it all you got. It's okay. Give, it's okay to give what you got. Well, not what you got, but this is like a robbery. Somebody could be trying to rob you of something. Um, but this is like giving it the best that you got. You know what I mean? And, and you know, divine wisdom, this, it's like, it's like God is going to come down and teach you some things and show you some things, but you're, you're being told to remain focused on that. Don't, don't worry about what this person is doing or how this person is trying to stop you and what the fuck is going on over here. Don't worry. Reflect on you right now because it's, it's, it's about learning something and gaining the reference to do what you need to do. Yeah, because you could be, you know, be like like I said, something could be natural to you, but you could be slightly inexperienced about it. You know, just because you know, like just say for instance, just because I know how to work with kids don't mean I got a license or certificate to do it. I'm a, I'm like a, I'm like a hood babysitter. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So so you know, it's not you. Know, but you don't. And I, and I'm a mother. I raise my children. You know what I'm saying? They're grown. So it's kind of like. Oh, all moms ain't great. Um, I'm, I gotta call it. You know, my mom certainly wasn't. But at the end of the day, you know, it's it's about staying focused on something to make sure that you know the proper ins and outs about a situation. Say for instance, like say for instance, if I love I love working with kids and elders, but I haven't I I don't have any type of cert, I'm not certified for it. So therefore, I may have to take this class or take this class, get this certificate, get this thing, get this check ran on me. You know, I, I've worked in daycare, so I know how they do when they have to run some type of background checks on you to make sure that you are in good standing when it comes down to children or even elders. You know, so it may be some things that you may have to do to become certified, you know. Yeah. But it's, it's all about starting within your starting within yourself, though, and staying and remaining focused. And then God is gonna like jump in and co-create with you, and y'all good. You know what I'm saying? So thank you for your wisdom, your guidance, and understanding. All right, something is over once again. There's a there, there's an ending here. You could be dealing with the Scorpio, and this is like a like for real. Like this is something that's, I mean. Something is clear. There's going to be an ending. And then it's like something is being made clear. Revelation is here. Something is going to be seen. You cannot ignore this. This new beginning that's coming in. Look at this. And you're being told that it's going to happen. Rest assured it's going to happen. But it's all about, once again, nothing is set in stone. Because you have to be the one to want to make it happen. Show me the advice, inspiration, encouragement. Motivation. That's for Libra. You know, you're going to be happy that you did something. Peace. At peace with it. At peace with it. Yeah, because you, you're starting within yourself. As long as you start within yourself, and figure this out, like what you really, really want out of this, and you're gonna get you can't help but see it. So you gotta make sure that when you once you find peace with it, nurture it so you can realize the full potential that it can become. Um, and you're gonna watch a miracle take place, yo. This is a, actually a really beautiful reading. You're actually gonna even be you know, forgive those who you know, forgive them, Father, for they know not what they do. You're going to be able to forgive those because you're going to be able to realize that if, if it wasn't for them, you wouldn't have never gained the strength to do something. So, you know, but it's kind of fucked up because it, it makes, it gives them credit where the credit is not due for them to take. But, you know, you got people that's, if it wasn't for me, they would have never done it. You, that narcissistic shit there, no. But you ain't, and that's why you don't have, you don't owe nobody anything to tell them anything, but it'll be easier for you to forgive a situation or forgive others, especially if they were the ones that was trying to stop this. Keep that in mind. I'm going to go ahead and get up out of here. Thank you so much for checking out the message, you guys. Like I say, if you have not watched part one, please try to go ahead and watch part one. 
So, um, yeah, you know, you can catch a full understanding of this message. And um, please don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe, and share it, you guys. And I will holler at you later. Deuces.